Wow, we can see a parabola. All right, parabola. Okay, so P A R A B O L A. All right. So now, uh, yeah, upside down, actually concave right here. So the concave right here is down, not up there. Up there is convex, but we use concave only, right? Okay. So now, uh, oh, what about x axis? Uh huh. This one is a three. Okay. So this one is negative one. Okay, negative one, comma zero. Okay, actually. So what about this one? That's a y intercept, right? So y intercept is a three. So actually zero, comma three. What about this vertex? Okay, so this vertex up one, then four. Whoa. All right. So uh, we have another point right here. Oh man. So that's enough. All right. So now uh, let's find out the equation first. Functional equation. That's right. The equation actually looks like this, right? So you know this. Okay. So y equals a x squared plus b x plus c. Okay. That's the original equation. Okay. So uh, in this in this case, uh, a cannot be zero. So you know that already, right? Okay. So now, uh, what about this? Then, uh, you know what? We can make uh, three equations because uh, we have enough points right there. So look at this one. Okay. So now let's plug uh, the first one right there. Okay. So left hand side. Okay. This is uh, x intercept. Okay, so negative 1, then 0. Uh huh. That means y is going to be 0. So I can write this way a, then negative 1 squared, okay, plus b, then negative 1, then plus c equals 0. Okay, so the next one, so right hand side, right here. Okay, so 3 is 0, right? Okay, that means. Uh, a, okay, 3 squared, okay, plus b, then 3, okay, actually 3b, okay, plus c equals 0. Okay, the next one, uh, we can use any point, but a, easy for this one. Okay, so, okay, uh, 3 is y intercept, so actually that coordinate is 0, 3, right? Okay, that means zero. We plug zero here. Okay, so a, then zero squared plus b, then zero plus c versus uh, equals that y. Y is three right there. All right. So now actually zero squared zero. Okay, so we can erase this one. So erase this one. Okay, then C is 3. Oh, that's right. Then, instead of C, we can substitute. Okay, so C with 3. So, we can put 3 right there. Okay, so 3 and 3. Okay, so now, uh, we can make two new equations from here. Okay, let's say negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. So, actually, A. Okay, so... Uh, plus, uh, actually this one is a minus, so, so minus, and negative 1 times b is negative b equals, actually, uh, you can move this 3 to your right hand side, it's going to be negative 3. Alright. Okay, what about the next one? That's 9a. Alright, 9a. Okay, so plus 3b, 3b equals. Now you can move again, okay? So 3 to your right hand side is going to be negative 3. Now, the bottom one, hey, we can change this bottom one, right? Okay, how? Okay, For, what about divide by 3, divide by 3, divide by 3? So we can reduce this one by 3. So this is going to be 3, okay? 
So what about this one? This is going to be 1, that means this is going to be gone, so just the B. Okay, what about this one? This is going to be negative 1. All right, now, A, bottom and top. Okay, so we have negative B and plus B, so we can add these two equations right here, right? Okay, all right, let's add. A plus 3A is a 4A. Okay, what about this one? Yes, negative B, okay, positive B is going to be gone. All right. So now, what about negative 3 and negative 1? Uh-huh, that's negative 4. Okay, so A equals negative 1. That's it. Now, you just plug A instead of, no, oh, right here. How about this? Okay, so uh, A is negative 1. Okay, then I can move uh, this B to your right hand side. It's going to be positive B. Okay, so B equals negative 3. So I'm going to move negative 3 to your left hand side. It's going to be 3. Then, looks like this. Okay, so right hand side is going to be B. Okay, just like that. The left hand side, negative 1 was there. Now I move negative 3 to my left hand side. It's going to be positive 3. So 3 minus 1 is 2. Oh, so B equals 2. Fantastic. Alright. So now you have A, B, and C. Okay, you remember C was 3 right there. Okay. So now, hey, all we have to do is just plug me in. All right. So this equation is y equals a is negative one. So negative, actually, a uh, negative uh, x squared. Okay. So now b is two. So plus two x. Now what about c? C is three. So plus 3. That's it! Wow! Man, looks good! Quickly, uh, one more way is... Uh, that's right, I'm going to use vertex. Okay? So, vertex techniques, so we're going to use a perfect square. Right? Okay, just like this. So, y equals... Then, uh, yep, a is outside. Then, oh! It's going to be x value right there, square. You remember this perfect square? So, x. Then, actually, this vertex is a 1, 4. So, instead of, okay, right here. Okay, so we're going to use, instead of 1, we're going to use a negative 1, right? Okay. So, uh, now, what about the right hand side of this one? That's y, right? It's a y value. Okay, right there, say so plus 4. Oh man, that's it. Okay, so uh, then this vertex, you can tell this vertex is 1 and 4. Now, uh, I just used just the vertex, so, so I have uh, so many points. In other words, coordinates left over. So I can use anything. Okay, so what about this one? See, I'm going to use this one. Okay, so that means. Oh, that's right. So, 0, 3. Uh, x is 0, y is 3. Then, hey, plug me in. So, this one is a 3. Okay. So, what about uh, x? x is going to be 0. Oh, that means 0 minus 1 is negative 1 square. That means negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. So, just the a. Oh, wow, man. Perfect. Okay. Plus 4. This way, you know right away, A is negative 1. Alright, so, so, A equals negative 1. Okay, so, you just plug negative 1 right there. That's it. Okay, let's do it. Y equals negative, then, X minus 1 squared plus 4. Now, all we have to do what? That's right. Simplify this one. Okay? So, negative, then x minus 1 times x minus 1 is the x squared, negative 2x plus 1, then 4. Alright. See? 
So now, negative x squared, then negative times negative is a positive 2x. Now, what about this 1 right here? Okay, so negative 1, then plus 4 makes, hey, plus 3. Fantastic. Wow, man. Exactly the same.